Hey guys, uh, I'm Evan from Race Tech Electric, and we're going to start doing a series uh, of YouTube videos. So stay tuned on our YouTube channel. We're going to have a lot of content coming up for you. Um, lots of uh, tech videos. We're going to do a lot of installs, show you how to change stators and install regulators on your bikes. Uh, we'll try and answer a lot of uh, important tech questions, a lot of the frequently asked questions that we get, and try and make our YouTube channel a really good resource for motorcycle uh, electrical issues. So I'm going to start um, real quick and just go uh, give you a little overview video of some of our popular parts. I'm going to show you some of the different styles of parts that we carry um, and just give you some good generic info about them. Um, number one, uh, one of our really popular parts that we carry um, is our rotor uh, for Honda CB series dual overhead cam motorcycles. This is a really popular part because most of these bikes are uh, 30 to 40 years old and amazingly the original rotors on these bikes held up really well considering their age. Um, we seem to be in the time frame now where most of these bikes are starting to have rotor failures, um, which isn't bad considering how long they lasted, but uh, having a really good high quality replacement rotor is um, uh, a great idea and there was a big spot in the market for it. So we filled that by building this really nice rotor for these bikes. Um, some of the features of our rotor, um, these rotors for the Honda CB series uh, are tapered, they fit on the end of the crankshaft on your CB engine, uh, like the CB750, CB900, uh, CB900 Custom, uh, CB650 uh, Nighthawks. Um, <clears throat> now these rotors don't handle any of the ignition system uh, on the CBs, they're purely for charging. And the reason I say that is if you compare to some of the other bikes that use a rotor of this style, uh, for instance, like the Yamaha XS series motorcycles, they will have a magnet uh, on the rotor face, which acts as a timing indicator. Uh, the Honda doesn't do that at all. Its timing is handled elsewhere. Um, the main important features of these rotors are uh, we use a really high quality casting. The metal core of these is extremely solid. Um, <clears throat> a nice feature of our rotor is the field coil core that we wind them on. Um, we have a really nice plastic core that protects the field coil windings. You can see that the white right here that is inside of the two halves. That provides a really stable base and protects the coil. Um, we use extremely high quality wire with uh, high temperature insulation. The wire holds up really well and we're expecting these to last as long as the stock rotor did. Um, we have uh, very highly machined rotor faces. The run out is to a minimum better than the stock parts were, uh, which gives you long brush life because the flatter this surface is, um, the longer your brushes are going to last as they ride on the slip rings here. And if there's no ridges or uneven surfaces, um, the rotor is, has a real smooth surface to ride on and you don't get any unnecessary wear. Um, we use really high quality slip rings here. The copper uh, is of the highest quality and that means long life uh, for your brushes and for the rotor face, um, as well as an extremely good connection between the brush and the rotor. Um, <clears throat> the connections between the field coil and the slip rings, uh, for instance here and here, are a heavy duty soldered connection um, and then we epoxy over them with high temperature um, long life epoxy that really secures this connection. So these are some of the main features of our rotor uh, for the CB motorcycles. Uh, they're extremely high quality, they really work well, um, and they are made to last a long time. Let me show you some of our other parts. Um, here's one of our uh, generic regulators. Um, I'm just showing you this just to give you an idea of the quality and the style of our regulators. This is a, a regulator that has multiple fitments um, on lots of different street bikes. It's a three phase regulator, which you can see from the three yellow wires here, which are the input to the regulator from the stator's three phase output. Um, we use uh, OEM style connectors and terminals. Um, to make it an easy fit, um, perfect replacement, easy snap-on fit to your stock uh, wiring harness. Um, all of our connections uh, for the uh, terminals are crimped and we use high quality terminals that make an excellent connection. They don't corrode and they'll last a long time. Um, all of our regulators are really high quality cast housing. Um, you can see that uh, you know there's no flash on any of these from the castings. They're all um, 
done with really nice molds and we have lots of money and tooling to make sure we have the highest quality parts. Um, all of the internals of our regulators are uh, potted with um, high temperature and long lasting um, uh, epoxy material that completely protects the electronics inside and will make these parts last for a long time to come. Um, we use uh, high temperature um, silicone insulated wire, which uh, for, we use stranded copper wire, which is extremely flexible, and the um, uh, silicone coating on these wires really holds up well. It lasts a long time. It's impervious to uh, oil, gasoline, and any sort of chemicals, which really makes this a nice part. Um, here's a good example of one of our three-phase uh, street bike stators. This is a universal stator that has lots of different fitments uh, for Kawasaki and Suzuki models. It's a good, uh, gives you a good idea of what our three-phase stators are like. We use um, really high quality stampings, uh, the, the laminations for the stator plate. You can see that every stator, it's not a one solid piece. It's actually made up from a stamping that is really thin but stamped out multiple times. Um, those, we call them laminations. Those are then lined up and riveted together and you can see the rivets here that hold these together. Okay, um, what that does is actually give you a lot of surface area um, to start when we're generating current with this as a flywheel spins around this stator, um, having more laminations uh, that are riveted together actually gives you more surface area and can let you generate more current. Um, we use extremely high quality wire. Most of our street bike stators, if you'll see on our website, we say, uh, a lot of our stators say that they produce 20% more output than stock. Now, uh, as we go through and we gather specific test data on our test bench, which I'll do another video of later showing you how that works, um, we'll be updating our website with really specific outputs of our stators for different types of models that they're intended for. But we say 20% on average, um, and we can attribute that to, in general, we use uh, one or two gauge higher or thicker wire uh, than the stock stators and the thicker the wire the higher current that we can generate with these. Um, so we use extremely high quality wire with high temperature insulation um, and that really adds up to a reliable long lasting stator. You can see that <clears throat> all of our stators are machine wound and they're wound extremely carefully. We use a powder coated um, insulation layer on top of the stator lamination and that gives you a nice rounded surface to protect the windings. So you don't have the windings just wrapped around the metal core directly. They're actually protected with a layer of powder coat which gives you um, a more durable and softer surface to uh, protect the wire because you can have stress points where the wire wraps really tightly around a corner. So having something soft like this to protect it is a really really good idea and helps in durability and longevity of the part. Um, this stator being a universal model comes with uh, crimp connectors and it can be used on lots of different models so that's why this does not include a plug because it's a universal part. But this is a good example in general of our street bike stators and just some of the features that you get with our three-phase street bike stators.